you tired of nasty weeds mucking up the water around your beach area? If you've used chemicals, back-breaking water rakes, or even tried an expensive harvesting service only to have the weeds return, imagine how nice it would be to eliminate those troublesome weeds from the waterfront once and for all. The innovative Prairie Weed Roller can do just that. The weed roller's breakthrough design slowly and continuously rolls along the bottom, detaching weeds and agitating the lake bed, allowing silt and sediment to float away. Your beach is now a cleaner, natural environment, ideal for swimming and other water activities. The weed roller easily attaches to any dock or can be mounted to a stationary tripod system. Then let the weed roller go to work. In a typical setup, it will move in an arc of 270 degrees, but can be adjusted up to 300 degrees. It covers an area of more than 1,100 square feet. Add additional lengths and you can increase the coverage area to over 3,200 square feet. Listen to what the folks at Geneva Beach Resort in Alexandria, Minnesota say about their Quarry Weed Roller. Our swimming area is weed-free, and guests really appreciate the improvement. There's a lot more activity and enjoyment of the sandy bottom. Michael and Lynn Tanner of Lansing, Michigan said, We have sandy, weed-free areas on both sides of our dock, perfect for the young grandkids to play. Among the benefits of the weed roller is the positive impact it has on the lake's natural aquatic habitat. It establishes a natural weed edge that improves spawning and feeding conditions for fish. Fishermen love this too because the weed edge also creates a natural habitat for game fish. The weed roller quickly and easily mounts to your dock and can be conveniently moved between locations. It's environmentally friendly and only uses the same amount of power as a household light bulb. Finally, a hands-off and chemical-free solution that keeps unwanted weeds under control year after year. Hey, it's Bruce with Weeders Digest. We're talking about the weed roller today. The weed roller comes with a power head just like you see right here, and then you can extend out to a 21 foot, 28 foot, or even up to a 35 foot arm. And now you got to remember that will double, so if you wrap it around 270 degrees around your dock or pier, that 35 feet becomes 70 feet. So you really get a wonderful area. Now, this particular shoreline we're looking at right here, that, as you can see, is a hard back bottom that has been worked over by the weed roller, but just one month ago, this is in where we're looking at is about four feet of water and literally had a foot to a foot and a half of silt and muck when you stepped in. That's how far you would, would sink up. Now you can see there's a few areas that still need a little bit of work, but ultimately look at the edge of the arc. Uh, you look out at the end of the arc, we've still got silt, we've got muck, we've got weeds, so that we've even got some lily pads that are starting to grow in there. So this is it was not a good shoreline, but just one month of time, it's worked its way down to the bottom. Now, those little fins that you see, those fins are what really do the work. It, the, yeah, the roller does some packing. The roller does you know, pack it down, but it's the fins that cause the silt and the muck to lift up, to dissipate into the water column, and the sand, which is heavier, is, that you want to keep, is going to fall right back into its place. So. That is the, the thrill of the weed roller of what you can accomplish is create a sand beach that you'd love to jump in and swim and play rather than the silt and the muck. Weed roller, 763-551-1441.
first begin installation of your weed roller by first lining up the roller adapter and three aluminum rollers. Also, determine whether or not to use the flexible coupler. It can be installed between any two rollers and allows the rollers to accommodate the contour of the lake bottom. If your lake bottom drops off, install the flexible coupler at the point closest to the drop-off. Attach the roller adapter to the first roller with four 3 8 inch by 1 inch bolts, washers and nuts. Connect the aluminum rollers to one another by using four 3 8 inch by 1 inch bolts, washers and nuts. To install the flexible coupler, first remove four 3 8 inch nuts and washers from one side of the coupler. Then, fit the bolts through the end plate holes of a roller and reinstall the 3 8 inch washers and nuts. Repeat the steps for the opposite side of the flexible coupler. When finishing connecting all rollers, make sure all 3 8 inch hardware is torqued to 30 foot-pounds. If you purchased the optional mud kit for added traction in extreme conditions, now is the time to install it to the last roller. Use the two provided 3 8 inch by 1 inch bolts, washers and nuts to attach the paddle to two diagonal holes in the roller end plate. Next, install the round knob to the drive head cover with a quarter inch by three quarter inch bolt and two washers. Locate an appropriate dock post to mount the unit and attach the two dock mounting brackets with either V-bolts or U-bolts. Use V-bolts when mounting to a round post or when coming off a square post at a 45 degree angle. Use U-bolts when mounting straight off a square post. Mount the brackets at least 18 inches apart for maximum stability. Install two 3 8 inch washers and nuts on each V-bolt or U-bolt and torque the hardware to 30 foot-pounds. Place the square support tube of the drive head in the adjustment brackets. Secure the unit with a 3 8 inch carriage bolt, spacer, washer and nut for each bracket. Then install an adjustment knob in each bracket. Slide the drive head up to bring the gearbox close to the water surface and lock it in place with the adjustment knobs. Next, attach the rollers to the drive head unit. Temporarily remove the two yellow plugs from each roller. Then, slide the seal cover disc over the gearbox output shaft. Slide the roller adapter over the shaft and attach it with two half inch by two and a half inch bolts and nuts. Press down on the rollers to submerge them in the water. After the rollers become filled with water, push the plugs back into their holes. Loosen the adjustment knobs on the mounting brackets and slide the weed roller down to touch the lake bottom. Do not retighten the knobs. The weed roller should be able to slide up and down in the brackets. Only use the adjustment knobs in extremely weedy or muddy conditions. In this case, lift the weed roller a few inches off the lake bottom and tighten the knobs. This will allow the rollers to rotate more easily. Plug the provided GFI receptacle tester into the 110 volt outlet you plan to use. Make sure both orange lights light up together before you plug in your weed roller. The decal on the tester provides an explanation for all light sequences. Drive the power supply box stake into dry ground and route the provided extension cord from the weed roller to the power supply box. Use zip ties to fasten the extension cord to stationary objects along its path. Don't run the extension cord through water. Make sure the weed roller is not plugged into the power supply box yet and use an outdoor extension cord to plug the power supply box into the outlet you check with the GFI tester. Before plugging the weed roller into the power supply, clear any obstructions from the roller's path and adjust the roller arc. The arc is set by moving the sensors located underneath the drive head cover. As the weed roller travels through its arc, a magnet rotates between the two sensors. When the magnet reaches either sensor, the roller stops and begins rotating.